Hello everyone. It's more Astroneer. Um, last time I went and set up a base on Kalidor, got some gases going. Now I need to work on getting research so I can get dynamite. So yeah, this is my Kalidor base. It's pretty nice. But something it could use, and it could use a lot, is batteries. So I'm thinking, I'd like to go and um, get to the point where I can, um, where the hell are medium batteries? Here, right? Yeah, I'm gonna need 3750 bytes to unlock medium batteries. And then I can research through the night and everything, so... I'm thinking for the time being, I can probably get away with adding, like, a few, um... couple more um, couple more T platforms and then put some um, put some what you might call it research chambers on them that should allow me to go down here get bites and shit and then win Guess I'm carrying this up the hard way then. Yeah, something I'd love to get going down here is a rover, and I can't do a medium rover because I don't have. Actually, wait a second. There's, uh, there's tungsten on this planet. Yeah, I can totally try and set up a medium rover. I'm just gonna want to get, like, a buggy first. So I can drive around and find some mountains. Quartz will probably be more useful as glass anyway, for the time being at least, so... Stick those all on here. Alright, what does the buggy take again? One compound, one aluminum. Oh, that's really easy. more compound so should probably go and dig this up yeah I'm gonna need two two for the seat as well so yeah um
please print before this thing, before all the solars shut down. No, no, do it. No. Stop the hydrogen collecting. Stop the smelting furnace. I need this. I don't quite have enough. Going here, but... That's 20 hydrazine worth of hydrogen, so... I'm more than good on that front, I think. Alright, sorry base. The QT RTG is coming with me. Alright, actually what what does the What does the chemistry lab even take? It's up at the top, right? Ceramic glass. There's clay over somewhere around here, I know. Yeah, right there. And tungsten, so I just need to get the tungsten, really. So, tungsten spawns in mountains in this planet, so... That's no mountain. It's a gateway. Doom buggy mode. Ah! Fuck. Yeah, the caves here are pretty big. Got the two like hardest to navigate biomes in the in this entire planet right here, so it's pretty wonderful. cash there but no no tungsten the fuck is all the tungsten okay I really need to use my drone mod here for this Okay, this should work fine enough, I think. Oh, where's all the tongues? There's some. And here's hoping the deposit here isn't fucking tiny. It looks like there's another one nearby anyway, so... Even if it is, it's not the worst thing in the world. Take the graphite deposit. of graphite for graphene and titanium alloy so may as well get that started one here plus graphite is useful for packagers and auto arms and stuff so 
that's cool. That was a shitty tungsten deposit. Luckily, it would appear that there's a hopefully better one right over here. Definitely seems to me like the best way to get tungsten is on the solo, though. Since these deposits are like horrifyingly sparse. Can you even get a second one? See another deposit. I'd love to get the second one. Because then I can use that to open one of the research aids. Oh, this is easy. I'm hoping that it will be a tier one one instead of a tier two one, though, because I don't really have the capabilities to carry that with me. You know what? I'm gonna try and get it back. This one's a throughput one, so I doubt I've got enough for it. Yeah, it needs like four. Still, having at least two research aids would be phenomenal. The fuck was that? Uh. Yeah, I got the new mod on. resource and I don't have a lot of it.
a small solar, that's nice. Also, I'd like to check the check this wreck here because I know it. I read the patch notes, and they um, they apparently like changed a lot of um, the wreck stuff here to be better. Definitely is. It definitely is. I got an exo chip. That is good. I need O2. Here, I can stick the graphite in here for like... Um, packagers to get an extra slot. Uh, Wolframite is less important than any loot you find. I mean, you're not wrong. But I'd preferably like to take as much of it as I could get because it's quite useful for, like, unlocking research aids here. Probably go a lot farther with this, but oh well. Let's dig the dirt, there might be stuff down there. Oh yeah, true. I'll go give it another peek. I did dig a bit of the dirt initially, but I don't think I dug down to the bottom. That's a bit of a hole. This type of wreck is so fucking hard to like see. And it doesn't look like there's anything else in the bottom there. Speaking of um, research aids, it's time to juggle multiple of these. Yeah, I could use the jump jet, you're right. Wait a second. Oh, is it tungsten that's the rotated one? So it wasn't just me me thinking the rotation was wrong or something. Oh yeah, it totally is. Okay, well. This is definitely somewhere to come back to. And I'm right over the hill, so... I probably could use my jump jet here to move a little faster, honestly, but... I'm right at base anyway, so... It's all good. Of course I get back and it's immediately fucking night. So this thing I doubt will last a single... ...burn. It might last a single burn. I hope it does. Nope. 
Wasn't Kalidor for wind good for wind power? No, it's good for solar power. Surprisingly, considering the amount of wind particles I'm seeing, it's actually bad for wind. I just need one single piece of tungsten here, and then then I can get this thing and move the RTG with the uh, buggy back to base. Ah! Wah! Wah! Fell in a hole. We know that was there. There's tungsten. Alright, let's go unlock this shit. some of the stuff now this can go and smelt very slowly <laughs> and then also for the chemistry lab I'm gonna need some clay so I can go and stick um, these on as well Now I can go and head down here. How did you get two resource nuggets at once? I built, I built, which allows you to destroy um, multiple, um, multiple pieces of resources at once. And since it was so densely concentrated, I was able to get multiple. Research aid. Wink. Let 
mean, yeah, these samples are some nice free research as well. <laughs> the amount of dirt in every plant, you'd assume clay would be more common than either resin or compound. Yeah. But in reality, a lot of the time you have to extract it. Anyway, we have power. Great. Let's get some uh, some T platforms made. Then I can also go and... What do, um... What do the soil centrifuges... They're not soil centrifuges, what do the research chambers take again? Oh wait, they're right down here. Um, two compound, one resin, so I'm gonna wanna... Probably extract um, compound. Then go take this to gather some resin and more soil to maybe extract more compound. You dappled into automation yet? Barely. Gonna probably get into automation a bit, like, more later on. But for now, it's just a single auto arm on my, um, on Silva. How modern. Alright, how about we extract the compound, but again... There's the research chamber. like to try and get all of these things printed while there's still daylight. Not sure if that will happen, but I'd love it if it could. I mean, I guess I could, in theory, make another printer, but... Oh well. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. That, that's actually a great idea. I just need to go and grab a couple more bits of compound. Ah, oh, shit. It's done printing. Me. Get another one printing. Since I've got the power to spare, I can totally run two, um, two printers at once. Oh, 
don't go in there. Alright, where's my... Did I put my small printer again? There it is. Where's a medium printer? There we go. Be civil, patch the holes. Yeah, maybe I will at some point. Fuck, the sun's setting. No, not a large printer. Research chamber. What do you mean one of two compound? Where'd the other compound go? Where is it? Where is it? The fuck? I... I swear I had one more compound than that. That works. You're never gonna patch them, are you? Think again. I think this might be the first time I've actually, like, really patched holes in, in this game before. Well, I'm out of soil, so no more patching. Okay, now we can watch and glee. What? Now there's another one. Oh, wait, that's because I got two. Never mind. Alright, well, it's, it's all good because I can use this to make tethers. Grab another tungsten. Whoa. Ah. Of course, the one time I don't have the jump jet on. And I don't have any fucking soil either. So that's really fun. Reverse psychology wins again. Ah, no. Get me up here. Small wind turbine could be really nice to have. Imagine f flying the new hovercraft thing through um, these fucking caves, though. Like that. I'm gonna have to try that once I unlock that thing. The MTOL or whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. It's it's an acronym. And I don't know what the acronym is. It's very forgettable. 
hu yeah, they added a hovercraft in this update. Like an aircraft sort of thing. It's powered by hydrazine and it, um... It's a vehicle that you can fly around the planet instead of just, um, flying through space like the shuttle. This shit's gonna be, like, incredibly slow without, um, solar power, but I'll have to do for now. So I'm currently getting 236 bytes per minute even from this, and these are just flat rates. So I should be up to, um... Dynamite level real quick. And they've got, like, 6,000 bytes in them each, so that'll get me, like, 18,000 it's more than enough to get both dynamites and medium batteries. So yeah, well this is, um... Uh, well this is going, I'm gonna go take a break real quick to pee, so I will be right back. Yeah, I'll also see you, Tico. All right, sun's coming up. Now it's time for everything to go stonks. Look at this shit. Wow. Okay, glass, ceramic, and tungsten. And I can use all those to make a chemistry lab. that's going. I can also get some carbon. Smelting up here. Get some sulfur. Going up here as well. Apparently, I don't have this connected.
Now I should be able to make some explosive powder. And I can unlock dynamite. Sweet. Alright, mission log. Oh, that's part of the Advanced Explorer kit. Oh, there was another one this whole time that I completely forgot about. Alright, yeah, let's get that going. I don't think this one's quite as good. Yeah, that one kind of sucks, actually, but... Hey, I have a free one, so... It's all good. Alright, well, I'll grab this other piece of sulfur. And also the QTRTG. And I should be good to... I'm gonna launch over to the solo here and... Get my stuff there. For some reason it's lagging pretty hard, but... Oh well. So I do believe I've got a... A Bucky over here. Explosive powder can go get printed in some dynamite. So the question is, where the hell is my buggy? Did I park it down here? Yeah. Oh, it already had a QT on it. Alright, well, let's drive over to whatever the fuck um, this thing is. I don't know what this noise I keep hearing is whenever I'm driving a vehicle powered by a QT, but... It's cool, I guess. Alright, I see the beacon. No need to have the map up now. S 
So, what the hell is this thing? Vehicle data recorder. I guess let's blow it up then. Boink. Here's an exo chip. Oh, there is a bunch of free dynamite here. Alright, mission log. So this will get me some bites. Got another thing here though. Find the material analysis transmitter and decode the data from the exochip. Alright, let's track this. So, wait, where's the, um, where's the probe scanner? I feel like that might help me here. If I can figure out where the fucking thing is. Unlock it. Seems like a good thing to do. Oh wait, um, it's actually marked on my map. Hey, the probe scanner will be nice to have later on anyway, so it's not too big of a deal. It's just kind of overlapping with my um, my base for a moment there because I was so far away. Oh, I found, um, I know this isn't it, but it's cool that I found this. This was the Apollo 50th anniversary or whatever the hell it was event thing. So, like, I'm familiar with this. It was pretty cool. And it gets you a photo. Apparently the photo is taken not when this ends, but when um, when it's activated. Or wait, no, no, it's taken from um, from this side. I 
I mean, yeah, you can see that it it's just a neat little thing. Um, let's use to unlock actually the visor that I've got right now. Okay, here's the funny thing. Wait, what the hell? It's actually right by my uh, right by my base. Looks like it's on just the other side of the crater back here. Yeah, it is. That's convenient. Let's check this out then. Details uploaded to mission log. Okay, so I need to like slot a uh, an exo chip on it. Oh, here we go. Completed tracing the transmission. New mission: ingredient investigations. Mission: electrical engineering. Type data decrypted. Crafting materials are needed for analysis. So it needs plastic and aluminum alloy. For internal power and wiring evaluation. It needs copper and zinc. Alright, so that's something to continue in a moment here. But I'd like to get back to. I'd like to get back over to. Um, to Silva. And before I. Oh, yeah, you can pick that up and move it around now in this update as well. I'd like to get some. Um, I'd really like to get some extra, um, extra zinc here, since, I mean, I know there's a lot on Silva, but, like, there's plenty on the surface here as well, so it might be wise to go and grab some of that. oxygen a little bit closer here. Fucking thing rolled down the hill and 
took away my nice tethered oxygen supply. What an asshole. Um, okay, here's some... Is there any more? Yep, there is more over here. Somewhere. Alright, is it... Now is there any more? It's not up here, so... So we got a Sphalerite research aid here. So I'll go grab this and I can bring that home to Silva with me. Get me out of the shit pit. Okay. Extract some resin. Fucking let me out. Let me out! That tiny pit was awful. Holy shit, I, was, I wasn't aware the tiny holes could be that bad. Keep rolling over. This place's gravity is shit. Barely has any. Which, I mean, to be fair, it is a very small moon, so that would explain things. Where the fuck is the remaining sphalerite nugget here? What the hell? Where is it? Where could it possibly be? There it is. Okay, 
And now back to the back to the base. Alright, medium storage. Alright, and I think I should be good to head back to Silva here. shuttle flight is being super laggy today. I don't know what that's all about. It's usually significantly more stable than that. What the fuck, man? Why is it lagging so bad? Genuinely no clue what's going on there. All right, let's um, see. I can probably unlock the um, medium battery now. Yep. All right, cool. So that'll be really nice to have. Um, because now I got the lithium and shit to like make that kind of stuff too. stash the explosives over here. So, mission log. There's one that was, um, fuel for thought. This is just to, um, to create, um, hydrazine. Five of it. Audio is being fucked as well. I don't know what's going on here, but something's being wacky. Shit, um, hydrazine. Stick the hydrogen on there. Get it looping. And yeah, that gives me a, a free hydrazine thruster so I can upgrade past the need for solid fuel. And 
instead use this. And yeah, that allows me to get a lot more bang for my buck with um, rocket fuel. get um, a couple more platforms a medium battery now I'll get me another quest complete so I can go take this um, over here by my mess of a battery setup. That'll be able to store a shitload more stuff. I mean, I think an 8 of small batteries is still a little bit better, but this is way ch cheaper. Stores 512 units. 32 times 8 is, um... Well, that's, uh, 16 times 16, which is 256. So this is actually better than that. So they buffed the medium battery, um, which is nice, because medium battery used to kind of suck. I don't know why my audio keeps, like, freezing like that. Sorry about that. If I, um, if I knew how to fix it, I would. Like, it just, like, keep ha keeps happening. back over to my this back over to my solar farm lock this because now I can go and get some free stuff here so another large solar panel and a large wind turbine. Look how cool this thing looks. That actually genuinely looks really cool. Alright, mission log. What other stuff can I get? High tech spec. Print an RTG. Yeah, that's not happening particularly soon. Unearthed is an extractor. Shred scrap trade. That is um, a trade platform. It 
Safest houses, yeah. Look, vertical thinking. And vehicle data. Recorder on Vesania, blow up data recorder, retrieve an exo chip. I think the first priority here is going to be um, copper and zinc. Get clay smelting. Um, Yeah, I think it's definitely something worth, like, I think it's definitely worth setting up some batteries on, um, on, uh, what, what's it called? Solo. So I'm gonna... Bring like four mediums with me there. I'm also going to bring this medium storage of, um, of the stuff I need here. Is any copper? Zinc, plastic, and aluminum alloy. So, zinc's easy enough. I've got, um, I've got zinc. Wait, where, where is my zinc, though? I know I had some. Where did I put it? Oh, here it is. Copper and aluminum alloy. Um, will be better dealt with on um, on Calidor, so I might stop by there first. Honestly, it might be wiser to bring the batteries there instead. Probably would be, so I'm gonna want to bring like. Eight batteries with me there. Just need to go down and grab some zinc. Alright, where's some... There's gotta be some... Some, uh, Svalorite lying around somewhere nearby, right? Fuck. No! What the f- Ah! I don't even know what's going on with this... This buggy anymore. This thing just has, like deleted the laws of physics. They don't exist anymore. Let me 
Maybe there's just a lot more on the on the other side of the wall here. Okay, that was very stressful, that maneuvering right there. Maybe I'll have more luck on, like, if I go a little deeper. Somehow I broke the tether line here, and I'm not really sure how. One of the tethers just decided to, like, go commit die. if I do, I think this line is a bit more important than... There we go. No. Getting out of the Chipotle parking lot. Okay, here's a shit ton of it, as well as a lonesome mushroom. focus on this Valorite right now. Alright, inventory full. So let's head back up the awful ramp that sucks and I hate it. No, don't pick up the entire goddamn plat- I- The entire damn storage. Need resin.
tired. Eight of batteries, I think. So to get um to get that amount of batteries, I'm gonna want to probably temporarily take off um a few of the things here. battery. There we go. Now that'll just print me a shitload of those things. Okay, I did not mean to grab the graphite there. Also, it's plastic. I don't need rubber. So I extracted the wrong damn thing like an idiot. Well, hell. Let me fucking, like... I've got the carbon I need. I just need, like... One more compound. Turn a cruel twist of fate I don't have. So I need to go out and find some. It might be wiser to take the rover out on a little excursion here. Yeah. To get around all this shit. Free. All right. Don't fall in that pit. Okay, there's some compound over here. I mean, I've got the compound. I don't need to dig more. Totally not gonna bite me in the ass later when I end up running out of con compound again and I need to go grab even more. Oh, I've actually got shitloads of copper here. Batteries are done. Can you stick these back? Stick this back as well. There we go. Yeah, I 
have the goods. At least these goods. I just need to... Make some, um... Uh, plastic. I think though, so it's probably the best place to go here. So ironically, the main thing I'm going to Calador for is, um, Not copper. Besides that, I think I'm about good. So, yeah, this gives me 24 launches right now. Which is significantly better than the four I got with a single solid fuel thruster. need like one more aluminum or, no I need two more aluminum do I have room in my inventory yeah I do that could have been a lot deadlier than it was power going really here, so I'm kind of forced to... Actually, what am I talking about? I've got a QT on my backpack. Bonus. Bonus laterite. Okay, now that's full as well, so I can go and extract with that. else I might want to look into setting up at some point is you can now just like straight up fully automate research with the tier 1 um, research samples so 
I could grow those. Like, I could just set up camp on a planet that has, like, high-value stuff like that. With and So either, like, Glacio or Aatrox. And then I can use that to, like, get a shitload of um, research just automatically pumped into research chambers. So then all it requires is power, so that would probably be doable fairly easily with, like, a solar setup and, like, a, uh, although actually, solar isn't good on, um, Glacio, so I'd probably want, like, a, um, a wind setup that's just coming down, um, from the surface all the way down to, like, the mantle or core or whatever. power. Okay, let's extract clay with this. And I can go and Give this hill a little love tap. And I should be able to extract an extra resin from this. Large storage. Get some ceramic going. Okay, that was not quite enough. To give it a bit of a bigger love tap. Alright, cool. Resin. In time I can use these alongside some of the couple of the copper I had at the shuttle here. At the chemistry lab here. Get aluminum alloy. Take the sulfur back on my backpack here. Resin, aluminum, and this can get printing a T platform. And I can use that to finally set up all my batteries here. Once these are done. While well, that's printing, I'll head over here. Get the aluminum alloy. Just slot this back on.
So yeah, these things can store like... I think these can each store like... A minute of <laughs> these things. So I don't think I'll have the same level of throughput nearly at night, since I don't think the night is like just two minutes long on this planet, but... They do the job, so... I'm not complaining. I mean, I don't have any more research going on this right now, but... I'm good for the time being, and it looks like it's doing its job. Which is very good. Yeah, anyway, let's get over to um, the solo. Check this thing out. Seizure mode. You really need to fix that bug. Because, like, if they don't, sooner or later, someone... Someone is going to get a seizure from that shit. <laughs> It's very flashy. Ah! Do I have any compound up here? I hope I do. Oh, even better, I've already got some pre-made tethers. I imagine it's probably wise to start tethering out to this thing. Alright, so... What did it need again? Okay, copper and zinc. Do electrical engineering. Yeah, that'll get me some bites. And this is plastic and aluminum alloy. Investigation is complete. Then onboarding. Activate the mat. Send off the compiled data for a new schematic. Oh boy. Oh, get me away from this. Whoa. Holy shit. That was pretty fucking intense. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that was pretty fucking wild. I'm glad I stood back a little. Since I do have gases on me that I do believe are flammable. I think sulfur is flammable. So that would just fucking explode if I was nearby that. But I did get some mission rewards, so let's let's see what these are. Got a QTRTG and a hoverboard.
Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Look at this thing. It's so fast. I can just get it indefinitely with the QTRTG on my back. That is immensely useful. Alright, I think it's about time I start thinking about Argon as well. Because I'd really like to... I'd really like to get some... Um, get auto extractors going soonish so I'd love to get steel so also let me unlock this so what planets have argon Sania has it Novus doesn't Shit, um, I didn't mean to go there. Does Vicenia have methane? No. Um, Glacio has it. So, uh, Vicenia and Glacio. I would go to Glacio first usually because it's got Titanite and Hematite in l pretty large quantities. And it's got really good wind. But, um, Vesania seems a bit more appealing to me because it's there's a mission that I've got that involves something there. So, it might be wise to start getting set up at that planet. Um, so that that's got low sun and high wind. So I might want to look into getting started there. Something else I might want to look into is um, getting further set up on um, Novus because that way I can get methane and methane is used for silicone which if you if you look at it um, it's used in shelters and stuff Actually, fuck it, we can skimp on the field shelter for now. Um, I think it might be more important to get a... Um, to get started on Vesania, so... I could get a large wind turbine. Which um, produces 10 U per second. Or I can go with the... XL wind turbine, which produces 17 U per second. And I mean, that takes graphene, which is a little bit pricey, but... Like, I think it might be a wise option to start going through some of that. Because just one of these would, uh, combined with like a large wind turbine, that would completely be enough to like, or just two large wind turbines actually would be completely enough to get me a, um, 
an atmospheric condenser running. And then, uh, and then also a, um, yeah, I might save the XLs for Glacial. I'm going to save the XLs for Glacial. I'm going to go with the large. So that's, um, so I'm just going to need to bring two of those. A T platform. Maybe two T platforms. Fabricators. Probably be wise to bring a, um, probably be wise to bring a um, stuff for like a landing pad and shit so yeah that's definitely something to keep an eye on um, next up but for um, Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have time to do that today, though, unfortunately, so. That, I think, is going to have to wait for, um, uh, for next time. And for now, um, uh, I'm going to be signing off very soon. This hoverboard is fucking awesome, though. I must say. I really like it. Apparently fall damage is based on the slope in uh, with it though, so that's something to definitely like keep in mind while using it. Like, it's really great for just even, like, getting around the base. Um, let me hop into the field shelter to save. So, I hope you all enjoyed this. I, I certainly did. Um, and I'm going to be continuing with Astroneer very soon. In a future stream. Probably not going to stream tonight. Uh, but next time I stream, I'm probably going to do um, Osiris and Hollow Knight. And then... Um, I don't know when that might be. Could be tomorrow. Um, it could also... Be on Saturday. Or Sunday, or whenever the hell. But yeah, that's it for um, that's it for Astroneer. See ya.